Here are the three P's of question formulation. People, performance, problems. Let me explain. The three P's is my framework for approaching question formulation for interviews, so you don't end up asking questions like this. Is mayonnaise an instrument? No, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an instrument. As interviewees for roles in industries such as corn finance, tech, investment banking, consulting, the usual questions thrown at us are well known. What is less spoken about is how to shine when the tables are turned. When the interviewees become the interviewer, when we get the inevitable, do you have any questions from the interviewer? Many interviewees tend to overlook the seemingly trivial but still crucial step of an interview. And in this video, I want to help you keep shining as a candidate to the very end. Because every step matters. Horseradish is not an instrument either. Disclaimer, this will not concern asking questions of a technical nature, such as strategies or methodologies deployed at the firm. Questions like these are highly dependent on the responsibilities of the role, strategies and capabilities of the team and the firm, and if the interviewer is even willing to discuss them at all, particularly within an interview. These sort of questions will become apparent as the conversation between you and the interviewer takes its natural course, facilitated by the question formulation process I am about to introduce. First, why do we even need well-crafted questions? But why? Here's three good reasons why. It sends an impression of an earnest candidate who is deliberate in their job applications. In all industries, a lackadaisical attitude is not appreciated. Employees know employees will be applied to multiple firms, but coming across as curious and inquisitive about the place you may work at shows you are an individual with intention, as compared to taking whatever we can. Many interviewees forget that interviewers are also the opportunity to interview the team and the firm. Just as firms interview to find individuals with the right fit, so should interviewees to find where they may fit in. You are going to be spending at least 8 hours of each day in that environment, you should be concerned. And perhaps most importantly, it facilitates connection. While technical skills are important to get the job done, people also want to work al alongside others that they enjoy being around, or at the very least can tolerate being around. No amount of brain teasers or technical questions can build a connection quite like having a simple conversation. Surprise, surprise, your interviewers are also actual people. The first P of the framework is people. Firms and teams are ultimately composed of people, individual people. Questions in this basket will revolve around the makeup of the team, the hierarchy, the key appointment holders within the team, the culture of the team, the sub-teams and the reporting structures, the academic background, particularly if they are particularly diverse or different from the responsibilities that they currently hold. Don't forget their motivations, of course. These can be related to their, motiva their motivations surrounding work, but also even outside of work, as we shall see when I discuss one of my interview routines. Next, under what I've termed as performance, questions here can be more technical in nature, revolving around the tech stack, the data sources available, etc., the current tools that the team are working with, and crucially, the growth and learning opportunities available within the team and to a wider extent the firm. These often include sponsorships such as sponsorships for certifications or allowances for courses, online and offline, some firms even have allowances for language courses, useful if you have just shifted to a new country. And finally, problems. Questions in these baskets revolve around the current projects being pursued, the current problems and deficiencies in the skill sets, and possibly where your skill sets and mindset can complement the team. And this also includes future work that the team expects on the horizon. If that is too much or even too vague, just remember this. Formulate questions that will provide insight into the following. People seeking performance to solve problems. This framework has helped me to generate my go-to list of questions for all my interviews, for both technical and non-technical interviewers. However, if you build this habit that I'm going to show you next, you can formulate even more personalized and insightful questions guaranteed to keep your interviewer engaged conversations informative, and you never running out of questions ever again. But as a taster, here are some questions to start you off. The habit to build is an interview routine. Here's an overview of my pre-game routine, in-game routine, and post-game routine. I call the pre-game step sharpening your soul. First off, inquire about the names of your interviewer, if not already provided. You can expect HR or your recruiter to keep you informed of your next interview, and if they do not, please, please, please ask for a name so you can search them up. It is amazing what can be found from just a simple Google search, and a surprising number of interviewees still skip this step. I have found personal blogs, creative outlets, research publications, LinkedIn profiles, awards, and other mentions. In one of my interviews, I Google search my interviewer, and that revealed him to be an active long-distance runner, and he had taken part in one corporate running event. 
It was an easy talking point to bring up, which led to an enjoyable discussion about the general work-life habits of the team and the researchers and the availability of shower sporting gym facilities in and around the office. I learned that many of the researchers were also active in various sports, a culture that was important to me, and it was a chance to demonstrate to my interviewer that outside of work, I would likely fit in well with them. Next, read the film's website. Obviously, I'm sounding like Captain Obvious here, but once again, some interviewees do not do this. This helps you keep up to date with the latest news of the firm, which could be relevant to your team, such as a notable new hire, strategy, or asset class, etc. Prepare your list of questions, whether in a Word document for printing or just on a piece of paper, and bring it into the interview with you. See the sample on the left. Leave enough space for recording your response, and do not feel embarrassed to say that you have prepared some questions. This is what being a prepared candidate looks like. Next, in game, go with the flow. Be considerate of your interviewer's time. Check in with the interviewer, how much time is left, and prioritize your most important questions first. Remember, you will not get through all your questions. I can promise you that. Also, to be sure, do not ask questions that the interviewer may have answered at the start of the meeting, which usually includes some, some sort of introduction to the role, the team, the firm. When taking notes, do so quietly and be sure to keep some eye contact with your interviewer so you don't want to be looking away, typing or writing whilst your interviewer responds to your questions as that can come across as rude. Don't worry if it is untidy like you see on the left. I can't even read this handwriting anymore. You will return to consolidate the notes in the next step. When the interviewer ends the interview with the customary, do you have any final question? Here's my gift to you, my go-to line. Is there anything from my resume, interview, background that I can clarify now to assure you of my fit for the role and the firm? Trust me, you will not regret it. Lastly, post-game, consolidate and synthesize. Once the interview has concluded, I immediately review my scribbles, filling in any information I missed and typing them out neatly as part of the documents I keep for each application. Considering that there will be multiple interview rounds, these notes will continue to serve you throughout the interview process. Perhaps some answers you received were not thorough enough and can serve as new threats to pull during your next interview. Other interviewers may have more information and hence be better suited to answering them. Proper note-taking also aids in refining your answers to questions along the lines of why did you choose to apply to this specific role slash specific firm? The information collected from your interviews will always be more in-depth and personalized compared to what can be gleaned from the firm's website. Use this to your advantage to demonstrate how the interview process itself reaffirms your enthusiasm for joining the firm. To kickstart your application pre preparation with my go-to list of 30 questions and a deeper dive into the routine, as well as examples of personalized questions, follow this link to get my guide to ask some questions for your interviews. All the good impressions and earnestness is void if you fail to shine during the technical aspects of the interview. Click here to learn about the topics you must prepare for if you don't want to fail your next one interview.